Teenage terrorism inspired by social media, it's on the rise according to local FBI agents and it's just one of the reasons the federal agency is hosting an event to keep kids safe from radicalization and other online influences. News for Jack's anchor Tarek Miner joins us now with more from the FBI and spoke with a social media expert about what parents should be watching for. FBI agents say that radicalization online isn't necessarily a new threat, but just how often it's happening now is alarming. We did speak with a social media expert as well who offered some advice that every parent needs to hear. Those predators online are studying your children. They're studying our children. They're studying their behaviors. They're studying what makes them happy, what makes them sad, and they understand how to communicate properly to get the right results. It's a chilling reality that's lurking on almost every social media site, according to law enforcement. The threat of online radicalization, which is when someone is introduced to an ideological belief or message that is justified by violence or hate. These are predators who are targeting children, trying to push their extremist views on them, and then motivate those children to commit violent acts to further those extremist views. And that's very concerning for us um, because we're seeing all of that hate speech and everything online. FBI Public Affairs Officer Amanda Vidal says federal investigators are tracking a dramatic increase in hate speech online, targeting people because of their race, ancestry, religion, or sexual orientation. Along with that hate speech, Vidal says extremists are using social media to introduce kids to harmful ideas. People are taking advantage of youth who don't have that core value system in place yet, are very vulnerable, and who may be willing to commit violent acts to further these ideas that they believe that they hold. Experts say the signs of radicalizations aren't always obvious, but here are some things to look out for. Isolation from family and friends, talking as if from a scripted speech, a sudden disrespectful attitude towards others, and increased secretiveness, especially around their internet use. Well, I think we have to remember, um, whereas when we grew up, you know, we were like latchkey kids. Today, uh, kids are being raised literally by the internet and by social media. Social media expert Dewan Holmes says parents should be closely monitoring and moderating their child's online behavior and be aware of the most common time of day. Extremists are looking for easily influenced kids and teenagers. I think anyone who is a specialist online knows that there are certain times that our pages are more frequented and there are certain times that children are online unmonitored and that tends to be as soon as they get out of school when their parents are not around. And so if you understand that, I think it's really important for uh, parents to communicate with their children. Holmes says it's also important parents educate themselves on these popular terms kids and teenagers are using nowadays so that parents can have a clear understanding of what their child is saying or being told online. Our local FBI wants this conversation to continue and have scheduled, they've scheduled what's called the Be Smart With Your Kids smartphone event along with Duval County Schools. It's for parents and students next Thursday, November 2nd at 630 at James Weldon Johnson College Prep Middle School. The event is free and open to the public. Stacey.